pad is a unique saddle pad that we designed and are manufacturing here at Outwest Saddlery using wood felt that is specially made for us instead of wool. We use this material because it breathes well and surpasses wool in shock absorption, wicking moisture, and heat dissipation. Other pads, especially ones made of synthetic or non-slip materials, tend to trap heat and sweat, essentially cooking the muscle, which weakens and shrinks it, and can cause as much atrophy as pressure from a narrow saddle tree. Our felt causes less friction than other materials, is fully machine washable, and is naturally antibacterial. The Remuda pad is customizable through the use of shims, allowing you to change the fit of your saddle to accommodate multiple horses without hindering their natural movement. You can also change it to make up for a saddle that doesn't fit perfectly and is either too narrow, too wide, or is causing other problems. We can also special make the pad to fit the shape of any saddle. In this video, we will show how to use the insertable shims to adjust for some of the most common problems we see. Keep in mind to never assume that your saddle fits. Use a fitting wire to determine what your horse needs, because even a horse that is in great shape can change for better or worse due to age, conditioning, and diet, and require a new shimming pattern. The main problem we are seeing with saddle fit issues is that today's horses' backs are wider, flatter, and shorter than they used to be. The majority of modern saddles have not kept up with these changes and are still designed based on arbitrary terms such as semi or full quarter horse bars. To accommodate these changes in modern horses, we have engineered our trees with a much wider bar angle than normal, but maintain a standard gullet width. This allows the horse's shoulder to rotate freely, but keeps the saddle from dropping down onto the withers. Now we will look at the three most common fit issues we see and how to use shims to alleviate the pressure points these issues create. You may need to refer to our previous video called Evaluating Saddle Fit to learn how to use a wire to check your horse and saddle so that you can figure out exactly what shimming pattern your horse needs. First is the too narrow saddle. This is the most common problem we see and has become such an epidemic that many people don't even realize that their horse is suffering. A saddle that fits well will have even contact along the whole length and width of the bars. However, don't be fooled. If your horse has pockets behind the withers and the saddle fits into them, it can appear that your saddle fits perfectly, but in reality the saddle is too narrow and has forced your horse's muscles to painfully atrophy and shrink away in order to make room. It is not normal for horses to have wither pockets, no matter their breed. If they do, something is wrong. To correct for a saddle that is too narrow, put shims in the middle and back pockets of our pad, not in the front. You want to lift the whole saddle up to create more space in the wither pocket and take away pressure so that the muscle has space to regrow. You can put in up to an inch of shims, but if you need more than that, the saddle should preferably be replaced with one that is much wider. The second most common problem we see is saddles that bridge along the horse's back. This happens when the arc or rocker of the saddle's bar doesn't match the arc of the horse. This creates extreme pressure at the front and back of the saddle and a space in between. This is corrected by putting shims in the center pocket of the remuda pad to fill in the gap in the middle. Finally, we occasionally see saddles that are too wide for the horse. This causes a narrow strip of pressure along either side of the spine and allows the saddle to drop too far down onto the withers, potentially causing a painful rub spot. Whether the saddle is too wide because the horse has atrophy from a previous saddle that was too narrow, or because the horse just has a slim back, you will need to place shims in the front and sometimes middle pockets of the remuda pad to lift the saddle up in front and fill in the space. If the horse has atrophy, the soft felt will allow for muscle to regrow. As the horse fills out, the shims will gradually be removed as determined by the wire fitting. Each horse is unique and may require a more advanced shimming pattern to fully alleviate a particular problem. We welcome you to contact us with any questions.